What's going on guys, my name is Ryan Snod, it rhymes with odd, and welcome to another video. In this video, I wanted to give you a full breakdown on how I edit podcasts currently and how I do the multicam switching in the entire editing software here in Premiere. The old way that I used to do this took me about three hours to edit a one hour podcast, but now using a new tool called AutoPod, I can edit in my entire multicam sequence in about 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna show you guys the old way that I used to do it, and then the new way that I'm doing now, which is saving me a ton of time. If at any point in this video you guys wanna check out AutoPod, it's a really great tool. I'll put a link down in the description box below. You can check it out. They have a free 30 day trial, so you can test it out and stuff like that. Okay, so I've got my new project open here. I'm gonna open up my folders go down to my podcast and I'm going to import all of my clips. So I've got Acam, Audio, Bcam, and Ccam. We'll drop those in. Now before Autopod came along, I used to have to edit them this way. So I'd grab my um, stereo audio, which has all the mics, grab my three camera angles. I would right click and hit create multi-cam sequence. And I'll hit okay. So we would do that multi-cam sequence option, or the other way you could do it is just dragging all the clips into your timeline and manually synchronizing them. So the other route would be dragging this video link here. Then I'm gonna drag my guests audio and video, my audio and video, and then both of our audios and videos. And I would select all this, right click and hit synchronize. But when I do that, it just lines all the clips together and then I still have to manually go through and change the camera depending on who's talking. So with this new tool, it's gonna synchronize all the clips and automatically cut based on who's talking. So I'm gonna auto select all this and delete it. We're gonna do my new method, which is grabbing our two guests. So we just have mic one and mic two because it's just me and my guest. So we'll drag these in here. I'm gonna move the stereo audio back in that file folder. And basically how I do it is I take my audio and sync it to mic one. So we'll select my audio and mic one and we'll hit merge clips. Ryan merged and hit okay. Okay, so then we'll double click this and play it back. So you're hearing the quiet version because he's talking. And that while you still have a job, like. So that's cool, that's me talking there. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna drag this into my timeline. We're going to change sequence settings to match. And then we're gonna do the same thing with Travis, my guest. We're gonna select his video layer and mic two since that's his, and we're gonna merge those clips. Travis merged and hit okay. So we'll grab Travis's and we'll drag it on the timeline on layer two for both of those. And then I'm going to synchronize these easily because the audio started at the exact same time on both of ours because I was using an audio recorder. So we'll just hit C and we'll cut these, unlink all of these, delete the tails, click that. And then last we're gonna grab our wide angle which doesn't have a really nice audio source. So what I do is I hit G and I'll increase it to five decibels so it's a little bit louder. So I'll mute these two so you can hear it. So you can hear me talking there. Now I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to synchronize these. We'll make sure we synchronize in the clip and let it process. All right, so now that's all lined up here. Let me zoom in and do the same thing. Just trim the ends off of each layer. So now that I have it all trimmed up on the front, I'm gonna go to the back and do the same thing. Select all layers, hit Control K, cut these off. And then what I like to do is just go through and select all of it and unlink everything, just so it's not tied to anything. And we'll take this wide angle and we'll delete the audio since that was just the scratch track. And as you'll see here, and so every single night I write, and it's it's really unlocked that. Now, so now this top layer is my wide angle of both of us. I'll um, make that invisible. This is Travis on the second layer. We'll make that invisible, and then there's me. So instead of manually going in and changing and clipping every time someone else is talking, we're going to use this AI tool to do it for us. So I'm going to hit Control Save. Basically, before you do open the tool, though, you want to make sure that your ends on both sides are even. You just want one big solid block of um, video and audio layers that are lined up. If you have something that's sticking out like this, the AI will not like that and it won't edit it properly. So then you're gonna go into um, Autopod and download that and get the AI key. If you don't see it when you come in, you can go to Workspaces, put that in and go to your extensions and then put in Autopod. For this one, we're gonna use their multi-cam editor. So I've got it pulled up over here. 
basically you can have um, cutting method is how um, I always do enable disable so I, that means that you can go in and make changes after the software does it I recommend that a lot for shot frequency I usually use low and then you can go in and you can do your speaker numbers and your camera numbers so instead of doing this manually I've actually made a preset for my podcast since I do this every week so here's my podcast settings that just automatically plugs that in which is super slick so I always do my audio on audio one, my guest on audio two, my video on um, the first layer, the guest on the second, and then all of us on the third. So since that is a consistency here, we're going to go to the end of the software clip here. Make sure that's all lined up perfectly and we're gonna hit create multi-cam edit. So you click the button and let it do its thing. And it just gave me a frame differentiation here, like I just mentioned. This little thing had one second in the front, so again, it doesn't like that, so we want to make sure that it's nice and synced up. I'll hit control save, and then we'll hit create multi-cam edit. And we're off to the races. So this is about an hour and a half podcast or so. Um, there were some parts where we have to go in and remove um, redos, or if, you know, he didn't have an answer to my question right away, or anything that we needed to go in and remove. But I typically do all of that after we do the multi-cam editing. Um, because if you do that beforehand, again, you have to have things lined up properly and you have to nest the clips in the layers to make sure that they synchronize properly. So I tend to just do all of those edit editing changes after the multi-cam edit has been done by the software. So now after about 30 seconds of processing, it has started the countdown and for this hour and a half podcast, it should be completely cut, multi-cam switching to every person that's talking in about one minute or so. And here we go, we can see the multi-cam doing its thing. Watch it go, boys. Look at that speed. And we are done. Let's go take a look at this and see how efficient this is. So I almost always do low frequency because if you have it on higher sensitivity, Every time somebody blinks or breathes into the mic, it's going to try to switch back and forth. So let's see if the speed is to my liking. And I always write it. It's usually somewhere between 9.30 and midnight. Oh, sure. For next one. Sure. So I mean, that's good. Putting it down to the last line there. So that's great. Yeah. Like down the wire. So that's pretty good, man. I, <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Um, some of these two, I, I'll go in and make a couple changes in terms of like enabling. So... Um, to show you guys how to do that, you'll notice the lighter blue is the enabled layer at, the, at a given time. So let's say for this right here, let's say I want to make this um, the wide angle. So we're watching this through and I can right click this and I can hit enable. And that'll turn on the wide angle layer. But I'm going to undo that because I don't like that for that. Um, but typically I'll go in and add a couple more wide angles just because if we're both talking and there's a lot of these cuts like back to back to back like this section right here. I might just do a couple wide angles just so it's not so jumpy. That's just something for me to do. But um, this is completely done now in terms of the multi-cam edit. So what I usually do next is I'm going to go in and look for the actual start of the podcast and then cut the first part out. So this is just kind of the getting ready stuff here. So that's kind of funny. This was a funny aside. I'm just going to save this here. So what we're going to do now using other autopod tools that come with the package is the social clip creator. I use this all the time. So what I'll do is I'll do 1080 by 1920 auto reframe because I'm going to turn these into TikToks. So then all I have to do is come into this um, and put the in, in point there and then the out point here and then just hit create clips. So it takes that clip. I don't have to cut anything and now it is in a vertically reformatted version for TikTok and I use these for Instagram, TikTok, all the different stuff here. Really? I was explaining this to my media director. Which is really cool. So, there's that. I'm going to now find the um, intro part here. Because we have, I usually have a couple minutes of just like talking, getting ready in the beginning. And I record the whole thing because sometimes there's some funny things that are said before we actually start. So but That's a 2024 launch. Sure, that's exciting. I now start my book manuscript for my book, which was video CMO. So it's like helping people understand how to use video for more. Awesome. Okay. So here's the official start, eight and a half minutes in. So I'm going to go to the start here, I'll select this, hit control K, and then I can just delete everything on the left side here. This is the beginning part here. What's going on guys? My name is Ryan Snod, It Rhymes With Odd, and you're listening and watching the Rhymes With Odd podcast. Today we're welcome with a close friend of mine, my financial coach. And so I'm going to cut 
Control K. I'm just going to enable this wide angle because I like to flash the guy who I'm talking with. My financial coach and author, speaker, writer, financial extraordinaire, Travis Shelton. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it. Perfect. So that's the get getting started part. Let me go to the end here and cut off the tail. Nod, Imran Sadad, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace. So again, Control K, cut all that, delete. Um, then what I do is I go through and I will find social clips like I just showed you how to do. So say we want um, this part in here, we'll put I for in, O for out, we'll hit create clips. And then let's say we want to use this clip again for the intro. So if I do control C and select all that and go back to my timeline for the whole show, I can come into this, I'll hit control V. Let's say this is our intro. Zoom out here. So what I usually do is I'll put like a 30 to 45 second clip of an interesting part in the conversation as like a teaser in the beginning. And then I'll put in my music there. So then we'll go into my podcast. We're going to go to assets where I store all my goods, animation, and then the music. And we'll drag these in. So I'm going to go grab the music. In point, out point. We're going to go here. If I do that, minus probably 25. Not 125, 25. Or so. Can't say enough. So there's music going on. Then I'm going to grab my animation of the logo in the beginning. Right click, hit um, set to frame size because it's a 1080p. About, uh, how much you've helped us and, and get us where we are. This will be negative 15. And then I'm going to grab all this and drag it underneath the animation so it animates off when I start talking. What's going on, guys? My name is. So then, that looks good. This will be negative 25. And then I select all these and hit Control D. Control Shift D, excuse me. So here's what it looks like. Say this is the cool, awesome intro. And then we fade into the start of the conversation. For six months prior, so. We can't say enough about uh, how much you've helped us and, and get us where we are. What's going on, guys? My name is Ryan Snod. It rhymes with odd, and you're listening and watching the rhyme. Very cool. Other things I do just add some spice and some coolness to it as I put some animations on for the YouTube video. So then uh, it reminds people to subscribe. So I'll hit control set to frame size. Times with odd podcast. So I do these little fun animations on here. You can get these for free um, on a bunch of different sites. I think I got this directly off here on uh, Adobe Premiere. In the rhymes with odd podcast. Today we're welcome with a close friend of mine. So that's cool. And then I usually fade the music down as I'm talking. So I'll hit Control D, and we'll just fade it. Odd podcast. Today we're welcome with a close friend of mine, my financial coach and author, speaker, writer, financial extraordinaire, Travis Shelton. That's looking awesome. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and take this animation again, take the video, drag it over to the end of the video for kind of a little logo animation out at the end. Put that there. I'm gonna grab my music again, fade it in, control shift D, shift D that in, and then we'll watch it back. A little bit too loud, <laughs> negative 25, there we go. Nod, it runs the and we'll see you in the next episode. Select and then hit set frame size. Nod, it runs the and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Boom! So now, I think I've spent 15 minutes doing this. The entire video is done. If you have no like cutting that needs to be done or anything like that, um, you you basically just finish your entire podcast right away. Some final things that I'll do is kind of mix the audio. So I'll go to Audio Track Mixer and I will put some little things in here. So I like to do multi-band compressor. I'm gonna make this enhance lows. Since we're both males, I'm gonna put this on both tracks. If it was a woman, I'd put um, enhance high, high notes so it sounds more womanly. Next, we're doing a parametric equalizer. I like to do vocal enhancer. Again, put that on both. Then the last thing I typically do is a, if I can find it, denoiser, which if the air conditioning cuts on in there, sometimes you can hear that, but I do a light denoise, and then I drag this over to the other one. So we'll listen to it back here. You put out a 
lot of content for you, help a lot of people with, and you consult directly with. What do you think is the, the biggest financial... That sounds pretty good. I might tweak the this to default. Let me see what this sounds problem like. Problem that you keep seeing with your... No, I like the, the light. Your coaching clients. And Boom. Okay. Audio sounds good. Video sounds good. I'll export this out. Um, and voila, I've got an entire video podcast with multicam edited in a very, very short amount of time. This hour and a half show, if I went to manually go in and change things... It, before the software, I probably spent about two to three hours doing each podcast. Now with this tool, I was able to launch my own show. I spend about 30 minutes per episode editing and I've already recorded, I think 20 episodes. So if you want to check out their tool, it, like I said, there's a free trial. I have an affiliate link I'll drop below for a free 30 day trial. You can check it out, use it for a couple podcasts, see if you like it. Um, and then if you don't, you can always cancel before your subscription starts. So um, I just wanted to share this with you guys because this has completely changed my workflow and it's given me the ability to launch my own podcast by having this multi-cam editor so it goes in and switches based on who's talking. So hopefully you guys got some value from the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Ryan Snod at Rhymes With Odd and go check out the Rhymes With Odd podcast now on iTunes, YouTube, and Spotify. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Cigarettes and a Playboy mag. Many used to have to work.